Well, this is fun, Salty. Where we learn how to have more fun playing D&D together, and this is difficult terrain. So according to the 5e player's handbook, combat rarely takes place in bare rooms so, or on um, featureless planes. Like in our last video kind of on things Moomin's live in that Link square over the there. Boulder like, Strange I know you caverns, can move through it, but... Forest, treacherous staircases, the setting of a typical fight contains difficult terrain. And every foot of movement costs one extra foot. Well, Mason so Robot, last time we calculated you gotta make money off of this be actually area. Around 30 feet. So it might be a game preserve. True, terrain, true, true. Could be training the frogs to be wild. Maybe, speed. maybe. So we're gonna compare a few different now, kinds of difficult terrain. The let's just say here, I got a kid in the backyard. Beach, the forest and another creature yeah, space. Yeah, firstly start with, all right, build anything out there. I mean, we could concrete <laughs> it, drain out the floor, drain, drain it out, difficult build it all up, and, really are. and go ahead and so do that thing. But, uh, first yeah, before we, you know, you make them build shanker law, then you make them go through the drainage and really get the out there. The insects and, greets you. The heat and humidity dominate your senses. The smell of mineral-rich mud mingling with lush greenery. Oh, this, this is one of the thousands of descriptive text available from our channel sponsor, Describe. Describe's online library of wonderful box text saved tons of time when evoking the beauty of your world. Plenty of scenes are available for free through the link below, or you can unlock everything. He's pretty good, I got him in my... with the coupon code BOB to start your this next box adventure. box down here, I don't know. Describe. He did the, the movement speed okay. and the... The this, wind is picking trouble. up. <laughs> We're out here in the fog, the wetland, I should say. And we have our 15 foot course that Grace is going to walk in about six seconds. I think we just learned by setting this up that it is really difficult to do. I almost fell we'll three see. times. I almost fell. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. One. Obviously, for two, the army detail, three, we are talking about four, it quite five, a bit farther. Six. For this hey, graphing okay. and the experiment How of difficult was that terrain? some uh, basalty will do it to you and then you will administer this test on somebody else. Next. And when you're in because the business of so many just, comments all right, so saying, landscaper. Hey, but adventurers are making attacks and doing other things during their turn besides just walking and they're wearing gear, etc. We're going to try to sort of Remember simulate how I was, like, that graph everything? In, a, in a really poor way, but we're going to do it. Here we go. Every okay, case. so, oh man, we learned that most D&D characters, many, rather most classes, many class the core classes, classes that is, I don't know about Artificer, nobody does, um, only wear light armor yeah, I'm or I'm sure less. one of the demons so will suck them up and then I'll, they'll get big right and now. powerful Two and then, that together weigh 10 then the, the weight the of AL. leather armor, which, according to the book, doesn't restrict mobility at all. So mobile, it's yeah. agile. <laughs> I swear to God, somebody says the Kabul airport totally and drown you out here. While we do this, here we go. Go! One, two, three, four, five, six. That was like a triple attack. <laughs> I did it. Kabul <laughs> airport. All right, so the weather was pretty tough. Now we're on a maybe more common difficult terrain that we're all actually familiar with. Walking on sand. It's a little bit rough here. We're just gonna see how it goes. Are you ready? 